Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers The Last Night Premier Voyager Optimus Prime and I love this toy. First off, hey, we're back after a, a nearly year-long hiatus. We're back. Um, so let's see how badly I do this and <laughs> see if I can remember how to do this. Um, so released in April of 2017, this guy is brand new and is currently in stores as of the time of this recording. And he's retailing for approximately $25 to $30. Here in truck mode, Optimus is approximately seven inches long and about three inches tall at the top of the cab three and a half if you want to go to the top of the smokestack so yeah here we go it's a new prime for a new movie coming out and uh, what better figure to uh, get back into the saddle with um, so prime is back in his uh, western star uh, truck mode and uh, looks really really nice I like the details of course uh, black wheels uh, they didn't paint those for me so uh, I, I'm definitely gonna have to do something about that and uh, just uh, just some just dull gray on the smokestacks here so that's gonna have uh, to get fixed there but uh, other than that I think he looks really really nice we'll take the shield off and uh, you see we got a truck hitch right there and not a whole lot of truck or rather uh, not a whole lot of robot showing up on the truck which is really really well done uh, as you saw here the uh, the sword can be stored on the bottom of the uh, vehicle here which i really do appreciate this is something they did not do for me in the last movie uh where we can put the uh, sword away on the bottom of the truck is something that i had hoped for uh with the uh the, the command station or the battle command optimus prime so this guy did it which is really nice and take a look at the sword there painted orange really like what they did with that and then uh as you saw there he's also got the shield the shield is a lot uh, a little smaller this time around uh and it can hitch to the uh or rather mount on the back hitch here uh which is typically as you know something i don't really care for but in this case it does kind of uh blend in well with the truck so it's not terrible i don't mind it as much with this guy um other than that he's pretty much the same western star vehicle that we've come to know from the uh from the last movie now uh for comparison let's take a look at him back up a little bit and uh, here he is with the knockoff of the uh, first edition Prime from the first movie. Uh, you guys have seen me do a review on this guy before as well. Um, and uh, so uh, I got the knockoff a while back because he's uh, he was kind of more in the, into the Voyager uh, size. If you remember for the last movie, for those that don't know, uh, we didn't really get a Voyager size Optimus Prime for the last movie. Uh, we did get him in the flat cap version, but in the Western Star truck version that he turned into later in the movie, we never really got a Voyager uh, version of that figure. So the um, this knockoff of the first edition was kind of the closest that we got to that. So there, there's, there they are for comparison. You can see the, uh, the knockoff's a little longer and a little taller. And then also, here we are with the Battle Command uh, Optimus Prime. Now, this is a guy that was exclusive to Japan. Uh, I've, I've uh, reviewed him as well. He's got a short trailer that he came with, and uh, he was kind of designed to play with some of the, uh, the one-step changers and some of the smaller figures. Uh, you could load them up into the trailer, and the trailer would also turn into a battle station of sorts. Uh, but this Optimus Prime is uh, actually in a Voyager size scale, both in truck and in robot mode. So really the only version that you were going to get of a Voyager size Western Star Prime was going to be the Japanese only. So there they are side by side, and the, uh, the Battle Command is uh, considerably longer, a whole wheel length longer, and uh, quite a bit, a little bit taller there. So... There you go. Now, uh, let's get into transformation. Transformation for this guy, uh, relatively simple, but a little more complex than the ones we got in the previous movie. I really like what they've done with this figure. So let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started right here at the top of the vehicle. Just go ahead and separate here. And this whole thing is just gonna slide all the way back. As you see, it's gonna accordion up, just like so. Take the side panels here, open these up, and uh, just leave them off to the side right there all right next we're going to go ahead and uh separate the arms here from the front grill this whole front grill is just going to split up right there from the uh, hood i suppose and uh bring these guys out just like so uh the grill of the uh on these sides here they're just going to rotate all the way around 
just like that. Take the grill, rotate that around. And then just uh, kind of separate the feet here. You're going to see that the feet are actually done here at the bottom of the truck. And bring these all the way down just like so. Get these panels out of the way. Uh, go ahead and separate the back of the truck here in half. These are going to be the legs. Watch out for these pieces here that form the hitch. Uh, they are on ball joints. They rotate. They're on ball joints right here. You're going to see that here in a second. Uh, but because they are on ball joints, they're also very easy to separate from the uh, back of the truck. So I got lucky there. They did not separate. Go ahead and uh, straighten those out. You can see where the legs are starting to form now. And uh, rotate these to the front. Uh, these uh, hitch parts are going to rotate all the way around into the inside of the leg, just like so. Uh, take the foot here, unpeg it from the back, rotate this all the way around, and then this tab on the top of the foot is going to peg into that slot right there, uh, out to the bottom of the shin, I suppose. And, uh, do that on both sides, just like that. And then uh, bring this guy around. This guy's on a ball joint right here, so just uh, turn it so that the wheel is facing uh, out and uh, bring these guy up and there's a tab and a slot right there and that's going to tab into that tab right there on the side of the leg just like that and uh, that is going to be uh, the legs pretty much done right there i like what they've done here uh they've done they I, like i said it's pretty ingenious i think what they've done here um where they, they've improved on the transformation a lot and they managed to hide a lot of the uh, truck mode in robot mode uh, where we saw that in truck mode we didn't really get to see a whole lot of robot uh, when we get to robot we're not going to see a whole lot of truck and i really really like what they've done here we're going to go ahead and turn them all the way around at the waist uh this right here is going to be the sheath for his sword which i think is awesome these panels are going to fold in half right here just like that they're going to accordion in and uh, these guys have uh tabs and uh, we're going to bring this guy down. You see these two slots up here on the roof here. So if you leave it just a little bit open, this guy is going to come down. It's going to be hard to see on camera. But uh, these guys are going to come down. And uh, they're going to tab in right there. Just like that. That's going to secure the whole backpack. And I think I still need to bring him up a little more. He's uh, going to get a little taller. All right. Uh, separate the arms just like this. Go ahead and uh, bring him down. Get this panel. Uh, the shoulder panel here, this is actually tabbed in right there behind the shoulder. So just untab it, bring it to the side just like so. Uh, you can go ahead and peg that in now as well. Same thing on this side. Unpeg the shoulder panel, bring it around. Uh, these panels that were the hood of the truck, these are going to accordion up and uh, tab in. There's a little tab on the back of the arm right there and a slot under the uh, hood panel there. So that's going to tab in up there towards the elbow. And that's going to do the arms. The head is right in here, uh, chest cavity. So go ahead and rotate this guy up. Hopefully, I've got the nails to do so. Let's see if I can get them out. There you go. So rotate the head up. And then the, shol uh, the shoulders, the uh, chest here is going to turn up. It's on a double hinge. This is going to come all the way up and clip into place. And then finally, these uh, chest pieces here, they're going to uh, turn both sideways there to form the chest. Get them all straightened out, and there is Optimus Prime in robot mode. Here in robot mode, Optimus stands approximately seven inches tall, and I think he looks awesome. Again, I think this is a major improvement over any of the Western Star Optimus that we got in the last movie, specifically because we've lost all of that kibble that uh, he had on the, uh, on or that he was carrying on his back, rather. Uh, now, yeah, this, uh, it's not really tabbed in well. There it is. Uh, granted, I know he does have a little bit of a backpack. He does have a few truck parts uh, hanging off his back, but considering uh the difference between then and now uh it is greatly greatly reduced uh i love the way uh that they did the legs here where the uh, back wheels of the truck kind of went to the back of the robot and then they got covered up by these panels uh you still have the um the front wheels on the side of the shin there uh i don't know why this panel is not holding but there you go um so you know and that's and that's acceptable i i think that all of the uh, western star 
Optimus from the previous vehicle, uh, from the previous movie, they all did that. And even the uh, Optimus, uh, the long nose Optimus figures and uh, uh, the animation from the previous movies, they were all doing that as well. So um, I think that works. Uh, I know that the Western Star Optimus now doesn't have, I mean, he's got really thin legs. But, uh, I mean, in toy form, I can accept that. I think that works for him. Uh, you can see there's not a whole lot of panels hanging off of him. He does have a roof, and you can see a little bit of doors on the back hanging there, just kind of these small wings. But, again, considering how much of the truck uh, is just completely disappeared in the actual movie model, uh, I think this is a really, really good representation. Uh, for articulation, we've got a ball-jointed head, so we can go up and down. We can go a little bit, a little bit side to side and turn. Uh, we've got a universal at the shoulders here, so we got an in and out, we got a forward and backwards, we got a rotation at the bicep, we have a 90 at the uh, elbow there, and nothing at the wrist. We do have a waist rotation, uh, uh, the thighs, or the hips rather, in and out, forward and backward, we got a rotation at the thigh, and we got a bend at the knee. Nothing really at the ankles, because remember, if you remember those feet, uh, tabbed in the place there so yeah i think this guy looks really really great uh i am gonna f uh, come in close i do have a little bit of a minor gripe with him we're gonna take a look at the face as we always do uh, the face is okay uh and, and just okay uh, uh as i understand it he's gonna have a battle mask in the movie this time around uh so i don't really know what the angle is but uh, I've seen better. The the previous uh, incarnations of Optimus have had a better head sculpt. Uh, we've had better. We've had worse. Um, this is not the worst movie Optimus head that we've had, uh, but we've certainly had better. So uh, when I first saw this, especially when I first saw it on video, I didn't really care for the head. Now that I see it up close, it's not that bad. But again, uh, I think that could have been a little better. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, give him his weapons. He can carry a sword now. As I, as I mentioned earlier, he does have that sheath on the back there. So you can go ahead and just sheath the sword back there. Uh, just like it does in the movie. And I think that works great. Bring the camera up again. And uh, and then his uh, his shield. Uh, he can't hold it in his fist this time around. Nothing, nothing for that. You've only got the one small peg here. So really the only thing that you can do is peg it on the side of the arm there. That's really the only thing that you're going to be able to do with it this time around. So, uh, yeah, the shield looks a little small this time, especially uh, when you compare it to the previous uh, versions. And uh, speaking of comparisons, let's go ahead and take a look at him next to the uh, knockoff again, the knockoff of the uh, first edition Optimus from the, from the previous movie, uh, which, again, this was uh, Voyager sort of uh, Voyager scale. This is a little taller. Uh, and here he is with the Battle Command Optimus, the one out of Japan. Uh, and both of these guys are just a little taller than uh, than this new one. Uh, but still, they're all in uh, Voyager scale, so I think that works. Uh, so uh, that's a way to get yourself three Voyager Optimus Primes there. Um, yeah, I still think he's probably the best sculpt. Uh, he just looks incredible. However, uh, if you don't like Backpack, if you don't like Kibble... Uh, you are not going to like that about this guy at all. So uh, we'll set that guy aside and uh, we'll set this guy aside. We'll focus back on our subject here for today. And uh, yeah, uh, I really, really like this uh, this figure. Um, uh, minor gripes, like I said, uh, the head sculpt I think could have been a little better. And uh, I'm not too happy about the price hike on the Voyager size figures. Uh, like I said, they're going for 25 to 30 bucks. Uh, so I think uh, I think they're a little bit on the higher end now. Uh, I, I, I'd be perfectly happy paying twenty for this guy. Uh, I paid thirty for this one, and uh, uh, yeah, I have uh, I have mixed feelings about that. But it is a great uh, it is a great figure. It is a great improvement over the previous ones, and I am really looking forward to seeing all the new figures that are, are going to be coming out with a new movie. New figures now. I I mean new figures. I don't mean all the repaints that they're putting out. So I think with that, that pretty much covers Transformers of the Last Night premiere Voyager Optimus Prime. What did you think of the, this figure, and what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment, give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.